Hello and welcome to my little tutorial. Uh, my name is Alex M, and today I will ta uh, teach you how to create and manipulate with the clipboard window class. And so you can play some jokes with your friends. Uh, you can send them this little application, and they will copy some text, but they will never paste it, which is pretty cool. They will, oh my God, this is some virus and stuff, but there is no viruses. And I don't want you to create a virus. It's just going to be a little joke application that's gonna give you ability to learn, and you know, in a funny way. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and click. Uh, I'm assuming that you install the Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 and you run it. So that's how it's going to look after you click start that application. Let's click file, new project. We're going to go with the standard executable. Going to click OK and um, it's going to bring us this window. Well, this window has the form one little look like a window and what it what it is, it's a forms. In Windows uh, programming languages, we call it as a forms. For the end user, we call it as a window. So if you will go ahead and click play, uh, that play little button, which is start, it's going to give you this. And this is how your application, your soft, uh, your program will look like when you're going to be done. So let's click stop to stop it. Uh, you can resize it anytime you would like. And I will teach you real fast. Let's click start again you see we just resize that and I will teach you real quick how to adjust the properties of that window of this form call it as a form just get used to it if you will program you need to get used to it as a form so I'm gonna click view and I'm gonna click project explorer it's gonna bring me the project explorer and I can go ahead and create a new forms if I want but not this time and view and local window uh, not the local window view and um, property window is going to bring me the property of the selected object in this case it's selected object is form one and here's the properties uh, let me go ahead and back color change it to gray and you can see if I'm gonna click start our color is gray now so I'm just changing the properties that's the way to change the properties on the form one on any objects so this is properties for the objects okay let me go ahead and let's go ahead and get started to the business uh, let me real fast show you how to change that form one so when you click start button it's not gonna say form one uh, we're gonna find the caption here and instead of form one we're gonna type let's call it joker uh, you can call it whatever you like joker let's click start again and here's the joker okay let's go ahead and get started to be able to control clipboard I decide to use a timer and I decide to make sure that user not gonna be so quick and the program not gonna work so I'm gonna make it less than a second so there is no chances for you to copy it and paste it in less than a second so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, uh, create a timer so this is a general controls over here for any forms in Visual Basic 6 I'm gonna click on timer and I'm gonna draw it somewhere in the form 1 so here's the timer on the pro properties of our object I can see timer true and interval is the zero I'm gonna put 1000 means that less than a second timer will do something and now I would like to make sure that th this timer will, will do something because it will do something less than a second every time the program will run it will do something less than a second do something multiple times uh, while the program is running so let's write the code I'm gonna double click on timer icon and it's going to bring us to the primate sub, sub timer timer and sub this is a function for this timer and I'm going to write clipboard dot and clipboard is a class and I'm not going to talk to you about the classes but keep in mind it's a class of the Windows class that's going to control of your clipboard in the whole operating system of your Windows XP or Windows Vista and I'm going to say here I'm going to I can see here six uh, properties of that clipboard class and uh, in this case I'm gonna put clear I, I need only one that's gonna clear that clipboard after it got loaded with some information such as text or something and let's go ahead and test it let's go ahead and click start and open document and right click copy it and try to paste it there is no paste there is no paste button here 
it's disabled cool so now your friend will open the application if you dig in around your application and they will never paste they'll get panic and they'll tell them look this is a joke this is just show you how good I am at the programming and stuff but they're gonna like it because they're gonna get oh my god oh my god I cannot paste it's something wrong with my system but make sure you're not writing any viruses understand so let's but your friend can see the Joker application and click on it and close it. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna one. We're gonna stop with the stop button, with the end button. We're gonna stop it in our Visual Basic, so application will close. And uh, one click on form one, and we'll go ahead and find the visible property, and we'll say make it false. What it does, it it will um, make it visible our form while it's running on a computer so we're gonna click start and we're gonna see see there is nothing is running right now on the screen but the program is running actually so it's in the memory till we will click stop or till we will end it through the uh, window task manager as you can see project one we can go ahead and click end and it will end task uh, but let's go ahead and test it can I go and paste? No, you cannot. So it's running. Let's go ahead and stop it. Here we go. We cannot go paste and we don't see that application to close. But when we go to task manager, let me run it again. Let's click start again. Visual basic. Uh, project one, it's running here. You can see this. And they can end task it, which is not cool. Let's go ahead and click stop. We would like to fool them and let's call that project one let's call it something that's gonna fool them they will never understand what it does and let's go click on project here right click and uh, project one properties and let's project name let's name it as windows task manager and make sure there is no spaces in here because otherwise it's not it's gonna throw you an error it's not allow any spaces let's click OK and let's click start again and you will see Windows Task Manager is running so they are not gonna have a perfect clue what it does so they will think it's probably this window over here which is named Windows Task Manager and they will never close it which is pretty cool let's go ahead and click stop so I just explained to you how to write pretty much Joker application that can play some uh, games with your fans but make sure you're not writing viruses this tutorial was uh, recorded for the purposes of learning for you pretty fast learning how to get started with the programming languages of Microsoft and especially as Visual Basic 6 which is pretty cool language um, well uh, let me teach you how to execute that so you can send it to your fan we're gonna click file and make Windows Task Manager and let's click select the folder where we would like to see that and let's click OK and it will tell you okie dokie and uh, let's do it again file let's I'm gonna go and select different folder application joker I would like to place it there and we'll create that thing and I'm gonna go to application joker and it's over here and just 16 kilobyte you can send it to a friend and if they will run it that's it they got on top let's close that so we don't need that anymore and uh, let's go ahead and basically let's go ahead and run that let's let's see what it does so uh, as you can see word document I can right click copy and right click paste okay I can paste it right well would if I will run the Joker application, double click on it on our executable file, and it's running. There is nothing in displaying. We only can see it in the task manager w that it's running, but there is nothing in, is visible, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go and select it, right click, copy, and let's try to paste. Paste is disabled. So here we go. You just learn it, and. Um, my name is Alex M and I'm glad to uh, 
to record you this tutorial and please visit my youtube.com profile and for more cool tutorials about programming, photoshop, graphics and some other cool technology and IT world, uh, world. so visit my profile and you will learn a lot trust me you will gain, gain a lot of experience just watching my videos bye bye now